Hi everyone. My name is Ashley with Posh DIY Crochet Patterns. I don't know if you've been following me or not, but uh, for the past few months I've been germinating seeds indoors to create a vegetable garden out back. And this is what it looks like so far. So I, I have uh, three different methods going on. It's kind of like an experiment to see what goes best, what works best. So I originally started over here in the back with just flat ground. I dug the holes here, planted what I'd uh, grown indoors. So this is a little tomato plant. If I can focus in on that better. So this little guy has been growing so well. As soon as I planted him in the dirt, he's just shooting right up. And then these over here are my zucchini. So far, so good. They're doing a lot better since I planted them outdoors. I got a few of them. I planted some seeds as well. So this one right here, this zucchini, I planted the seed outdoors. Pretty much all of them I started indoors. This here, I started outdoors two weeks ago, and look how big. He's almost as full grown as these over here that I started indoors. So they definitely grow bigger and better if you start from outside uh, versus inside, or at least here they do. Um, I did add manure compost and mushroom compost uh, with this seed. And um, I read up that that really works really well. It gives plants a lot of nutrients. Uh, so far, so good. Um, I think the manure compost and the mushroom compost is really helping these plants out a lot. Plus, of course, the good old regular Kentucky dirt that I got going on here. So these over here are my peas. Here's, here's a set of peas here without the shish kebab skewers. So here I marked where I planted the seeds, I marked with a shish kebab skewer. Look at that right there. So a week ago I planted this one right here and it is doing fantastic. So they are definitely growing really, really good from seed outdoors with the mixture of the manure and mushroom compost. And I'm also using the skewers to hold up the peas and the green beans. So here I have the peas. This is just some uh, good old uh, cotton yarn there. So I got those going on. So this is all flat here. So far, they're growing great on this uh, flat part here, but my backyard comes down at, at a slope. When it rains a whole lot over here, like from like here over, it kind of floods. And, and that kind of scared me when that happened. I was like, oh no. My zucchinis are gonna die. It, it worries me when it rains a lot. So, I began creating these like uh, mounds with trenches, like a ditch here. That way the roots don't soak. Uh, so far, that is working too, but this is working well too. So even though this part here floods a bit, uh, Evidently, the tomato here and the zucchini here are still doing very well. So, um, and then right here, I got these. Now, this is probably spelt wrong, <laughs> but uh, these are just um, marking sticks. So, I marked here zucchini, even though I got that uh, tomato plant there. Um, and I did that to separate my tomato, this tomato plant, from the other ones. And also, this tomato plant here, um, 
I took the seed out of a tomato I bought from Walmart. And look at that sucker. Let's see if I can get a good. This one is growing the best versus the other tomato plants. So here I have green beans. So right here, this half of this, this mound here, this row, is green beans. So let's go take a look. Here's a little green bean. So I also planted this two weeks ago in this dirt with the manure mushroom compost. And look at that. He is doing fantastic. Look, he's already over an inch tall. These are uh, these are beefsteak tomato plants. I got these seeds out of a pack that I got from Royal King. So let's start down here. And then as you see here, there goes that row of the bell peppers and tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes. I'm going to go on the other side to give you all a better look. So far, these methods are working really, really well. Here is the big Texas onions. And this next row where you see all these skewers, these are shish kebab skewers. I planted mounds. These are green onions. I just planted those a few days ago. Going all the way down. So hopefully those grow. And then I have some empty mounds over here. And this is just dirt mulched in with dead grass and stuff. So hopefully this method works. Over here are our pumpkins. They seem to be growing really, really well. Last fall, I had found the perfect pumpkin. I'm talking amazing pumpkin, perfect for carving, I mean, it was great, and I was like, you know what, I, it, I'm 40 years old, and I'm telling you, it is hard to find the perfect pumpkin, and I found the perfect pumpkin, so I took the seeds, I saved the seeds, I started growing them indoors, just like the others, and this is what they are. I also planted the seeds in these mounds here with the manure compost and the mushroom compost. So it's actually a mixture 
of potting, mostly potting soil, and a little bit of manure, and a little bit of the mushroom compost. So hopefully those will grow really well, and those are each marked with the skewers too. But these four mounds, these four empty mounds here, I'm going to plant some more seeds, and I'll do another video showing you all how to mix uh, the uh, manure, mushroom compost with some soil, and then these four mounds here will plant, let's see, I believe I got uh, broccoli, lettuce, carrots, asparagus, and then I actually have another set of tomato plants that I need to plant also. Yeah, so it'll be fun. And I think the rain's coming in now. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here and I will see you guys soon. I think the storm's blowing in. I'm going to get inside. Hopefully these plants will hold up during the storm. I'm hoping that those shish kebab skewers uh, keep those green beans stabilized. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. And I will do another video for you all. Thank you all. Bye-bye.